Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the Galaxy S23 Ultra versus the Pixel 7 Pro to find out who is the true Android king. Now the Pixel 7 Pro came out and a lot of people loved this device last year, but the S23 Ultra is back to take its crown. So let's see what happens in this battle pit. Now, if you're watching us for the very first time, hit that subscribe button notification icon so you can get notified about more videos on the channel. All right, so what do we have here in terms of hardware? The Galaxy S23 Ultra is a 6.8 inch display, 120 Hertz. Um, it's got a really vibrant display compared to the Pixels, which is 6.7, 120 Hertz as well. Um, and also a pretty decent display, 1500 nits in terms of peak brightness, which is slightly lower than the 1750 of the Galaxy. Now, the camera systems are also different. We've got a 200 megapixel main sensor for the Galaxy, which you can also capture at 250. And you've got, of course, some really uh, cool options as well within the camera system. While the uh, Pixel has a 50 megapixel main sensor, uh, as well as also 48 and a 12. So the cameras are pretty impressive. Now, internal hardware, Pixel is powered by a Tensor processor, the Tensor 2 processor, while the Galaxy is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 4 Galaxy chipsets. Well, these are two completely different chipsets. How well do they perform? Looking at benchmark, yes, the Galaxy's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it totally blows the Tensor out of the water in terms of benchmark. Single core, multi-core, even when you look at compute cores, it's just the same. It beats it hands down. Now, how does that translate to gaming? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So here, the Galaxy is clearly the winner in terms of just gaming performance. That is something that was to be expected all the way through. Tensor really hasn't hit its stride in gaming, but of course it handles other things well, which includes imagery and the camera. So without wasting any more time, let's jump in and take a look at the front facing camera, the rear camera, all that fun stuff to see how it actually performs. and. Uh, We'll see where the Pixel lands against the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we have the Galaxy S23 Ultra versus the Pixel 7 Pro. Now, it's a cold day, so bear with me, but here are sound sample and also some video sample of uh, both devices. Uh, I can see the sky, you can see my skin tone, you can see the brick wall, all that fun stuff as I walk up. So, uh, We'll switch over to the rear camera at some point, but you know, let's enjoy. Yes, that was quite interesting and seeing how the Pixel 
uh, doesn't do well with video, uh, that is something that it definitely needs to improve. But it does have its benefits in terms of taking portraits, but the Galaxy pretty much comes out as the all-round well-balanced camera phone amongst the two. Now, both of them, of course, have Dolby Atmos support with their speakers. So let's take a quick listen to how the speakers sound on both the Galaxy as well as the Pixel 7 Pro. The Pixel is loud. Uh, but it is very tinny and it doesn't hit its full range compared to the Galaxy. Galaxy feels to have more volume here and much more of a richer feel altogether. Looking at both devices and, look, and looking at the hardware, there are some other peculiar hardware differences that really stand out. Uh, the fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy is very fast and responsive, while that on the Pixel has been improved, but you can still see its lag in comparison. You also do have the S Pen on the Galaxy that separates it more, giving you more features like remote, of course, control with the S Pen itself, as well as the ability to write notes and use other S Pen features that have been built into the device over time. Now, in terms of uh, operating system, they're both running Android 13. Yeah, all depends on your flavor. If you want One UI 5.1, or of course, uh, vanilla Android or Pixel OS, if you will, whatever you want to call it on the Pixel device. Well, when you look at them side by side, I think it's clear that the Galaxy is the better, more balanced device overall. But the Pixel, of course, is still no slouch. There are areas that it's quite lacking when it comes to gaming uh, in comparison, but of course, its imagery still does a very good job, especially in low light. Which would you pick? That is the question. Would you still stick with the Pixel 7 Pro or would you move over to the Galaxy S23 Ultra? Leave your thoughts down below and let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.